Hello, YouTube. It's Alex here, back with some more Space Engineers. Now, yes, this is certainly a change of scenery. I'm actually on the uh, the crystalline planet that I've only been on a couple times before, but uh, makes a change, you know. I'm trying to like vary the vary the setting of like you know various creations that I happen to be showing off at the time. And uh, the most recent thing that I've actually discovered, to be honest, as I was uh, going going through the entity list in my building world. I discovered a ship that I had probably built late last year, and I've still never actually come around to uh, showcasing it. And it's probably a good thing I found such a uh, such a ship to showcase, because in all honesty, I've been so preoccupied with other other matters, um, I have not been on engineers really at all to do anything. Um, I've just been mostly mostly trying to catch up with like uh, some other sort of sundry projects that I'm doing, uh, at least in in real life that is, and uh, still perpetually helping uh, one of my friends with. Uh, it's hard to call it depression now. I think it's just a mental crisis and trying to, like, uh, drill some sense into his thick skull. Anyway, good thing he doesn't watch these videos, otherwise he'd be offended by that statement. Anyway, carrying on. So the ship in question is this thing behind me. And, uh, I, well, let's just say it was, um, it was a spin-off, right, from the, uh, the Vulcan ship, like the Vulcan minigun ship that I, uh, made a while ago. Uh, and it's essentially exp uh, using, in this case, uh, the these cannons, which I'm probably going to butcher the name, but the uh, the Bofus, Bofors, Buffers, those things, the the freaking 40 40 mil uh, cannon turret from the uh, cannons and turrets mod that I've used, and I just love I love these cannons. I don't know what it is about them. Well, actually, I don't know what it actually is about them. They're, they're just they're a small turret in uh, in actual size, at least compared to an engineer. But they just fire like these really, really high velocity explosive shells and these things are great. Like a ship like this with this many of them, you know, area of denial is like a real strong point uh, for this vehicle. And, you know, I mean, the, there'll, there'll be a, a name of this ship in the uh, uh, in the title, but I think I'm going to call it the uh, the Bof uh, the Bofors um, Enforcer or something like that. Because um, that's really it. It's just a bit, it's just like a heavy sort of patrol ship. And I suppose after, not long after I built this, I was trying to make a heavy fighter, which, even though that, with in terms of small ship um, heavy fighter, which it was kind of so-so in terms of effectiveness. But as you saw in the um, uh, in that last uh, ship showcase with the uh, the bro <laughs> the absolute broken mods, uh, you know, it was not exactly a great success. This thing, um, and I can't. I think I was originally with this ship as well. This ship was meant originally meant to be like there's a you know, big round cockpit there, right? And I was gonna I was trying to build it pretty much inside like a Taurus, but then I kind of gave up on that, I believe. Hence the shape of it right now. Um, and yeah, not there isn't too much to show you also on the outside other than just the lot of the oh, it has a lot of cannons basically. Uh, there's no blind spots at all. Uh, cannons are basically pointing absolutely everywhere. Um, you'll also notice the uh, the engine layout. It's actually a, well, it's a hybrid, uh, obviously hydrogen and ion. But also in the very corners, we have a couple heli carrier thrusters, uh, which are stacked. I think there's two there, two in the middle, and two at the top. So you can also fly this thing, although it's not quite as effective. You can also fly this thing in an atmosphere as well. And uh, well. You can also see, sort of vaguely by the inside of it, this ship has been... Eh, I haven't exactly done a lot, a lot of work with it, and it's not too different from when I left it. So, um, you essentially just enter the ship through some of the side wings, basically. And it is very utilitarian inside, I just, most things are on display, like power, gyros. There's some air here and there as well. Uh, same on the opposite side as well, there's actually a bunch of gyros in the back there. Uh, and in the main section here, uh, we got reverse gravity, uh, just for a change here. Now, the yeah, the catwalks here, I believe, are hiding the shield generator, and I don't remember... Yeah, there's a shield generator. So we have, we have a large shield generator on board, um, and I was actually starting to put loads and loads of, like... Uh, reactors in, uh, in in random places because powering that shield generator was a bit of a problem. Uh, we have cargo for like ammo. That is something I need to do more of is put more cargo storage um, in place for ammo because like especially with like the the the, 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 yeah, the minigun ship that I made uh, a while ago I probably should have put a bit more cargo in there because that many miniguns uh, firing off is going to use up a hell of a lot of ammo. Uh, something I should sort of take into account, if I'm being honest. Uh, and down here is just a simple ex assembler access, and, uh, you know, yes, like I said, this is not meant to be a, the most secure of ships when you think about it, because of how, uh, how exposed the, um, the actual cockpit is. It's literally right up there, uh, all the glass there. So, yes, this is a potential weak spot, 
But, you know, it's a patrol ship, not like a massive, like, freaking warship or anything like that. So, uh, that's really my logic there. Um, here are the ship's stats, as you can see there. It's um, not too heavy in total size. Uh, weapon complement, apart from, the obviously, the cannons, obviously. Um, we do have a couple um, mini guns there, or machine guns, the Azimuth ones. Uh, rocket launchers. Even though I really wish that the... Um, uh, I really wish the uh, the rocket launchers um, for the large ship anyway would fire faster, but yeah. And then we have the um, the little Davids, one and two there, which are obviously separate controls, uh, as and when you uh, want to fire them off individually. Uh, so if we unlock landing gear and engage dampeners, we can take off. Now, surprisingly, this this took me by surprise. There appears to be an atmosphere in this uh, in this planet. It's not a very thick one, but it's enough for your for the heli carrier thrusters to uh, lift off. Uh, let's see, shields. Let's see, only one large shield generator. Uh, like I said before, 1.4 MPT a shield, so it's not particularly uh, not particularly you know high shielded, but um, you know there we go. Now acceleration and, and mobility is probably uh, as you'd expect for a ship of this size. Although we are running mostly off of hydrogen right now to go forward inside atmosphere. Uh, if we do a, let's just do a loop the loop, it is very responsive. So gyroscopically, um, this thing is very good. And if we do a barrel roll here, hopefully not smash into the ground because uh, <laughs> I don't actually have any heli carry thrusters up on the uh, upside down uh, top side. You get my point. Uh, but all in all, I do kind of like the, the, the shape of the ship. It's kind of fairly streamlined. Uh, it's not too big either. Even though I think the cockpit design probably could do with a bit more refining, if I'm being honest, but uh, regardless. Also, let's just um, pop on into space uh, casually and see what's going on there. But, you know, re really that's, a, that's about it as far as this ship is concerned. I was just kind of building and this is what I made. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's been around for a while, this ship. It's, uh, it's been long overdue for its, uh, its turn to be uh, videoed, as it were, and... Uh, you know, eventually, I get around. Like, you, you wonder why. Like, if you look behind me, you wonder why I have so many waypoints absolutely everywhere, right? Now, some of these, uh, some of those waypoints are old, and they are like stuck. Like, they are waypoints to things I've already showcased. While some of them are like, you know, projects I've sort of like, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to essentially. Like, I've done a, you know, a couple of things that I've like started some work on, and then I'm like going to do something else. So I put a waypoint there, so I know what's. Uh, I know where to come back to, essentially, so that is really it. And oh, it looks like we have a, uh, a lake of water down there. I kind of forgot about that on this planet. Um, so, yes, anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Just short and sweet video, but, uh, I mean, rel eight minutes is, uh, or at least just shy of that, is relatively short yeah, for by my standards, if you've been a regular of my channel for long enough. Um, so, yes, I'm going to shut up now. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let me yeah, let me know what you think of this random ship down below in the uh, comments. Link to my Discord is in the description, as always. And you'll know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.